Wednesday at 4 o'clock. Uh, last night in a Hell's Kitchen office with no heat. A select group of producers, executives, and the strongest dude from Tonal fought and toiled and burned the midnight oil to construct the best segment in all of sports. It's not your father's power rankings. It's time for Nick's Tears. You are correct, Wilds. However, when we get to this time of year, mm -hmm. what you will notice is while it is not power rankings, Similar to power rankings, it is only one team A tier. But it's not. It's not, of course, come on, it's not power rankings. <laughs> okay. And you know what it certainly is not? It's not, it's been four years, buddy. <laughs> what is it not? Oh, it's not the stand. <laughs> Gosh darn it, man. I didn't know what, what are you it's even not a, doing? It's not an onion. <laughs> what? I mean, there's a lot of <laughs> not. It's the not only not thing it cannot be, Wild. <laughs> okay. Where do you get the standings? USA yes, Today. Okay. Yeah, your local Ramada Inn or yeah, something. Yeah, you go right yeah. by the breakfast Exactly. <laughs> Bottom row. Woke up feeling dangerous. Yes, now this is go. partially Baker Mayfield, but it's also Todd Bowles' defense. Todd Bowles' yes. plan in the defense was to blitz the Eagles until they made an adjustment. And then Nick Sirianni, his infinite wisdom, said, what if we just don't? And Todd Bowles said, that'd be fine with us. <laughs> now, I don't think that's going to be the case against Ben Johnson and the Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions. But what we do know is if you pressure Goff, he can't deal with it. So Baker's going to chuck it deep and the Bucks are going to try to heat him up. Woke up feeling dangerous. They couldn't. Could they? Green Bay in San Francisco. Jordan loves slinging it. Kyle Shanahan. What if, what if he just trails seven nothing early to Matt Lafleur? A little nervous. They couldn't upset the Niners. There's no way, right? Next year, year four of a five-year plan. Hmm. And here's what I mean. Right now, we have head coaching interviews going on across the country, and you have head coaches that are going to try to sell owners. I have a five-year plan. Year one, we're going to install a culture. Year two, we're going to try to be a 500 football team. Year three, make by year four. I think we can mean the divisional round or further. D'Amico Ryan said, how about we do it all in the first year? How about I install a culture, we get above 500, win the division, and we do all that with, with a rookie quarterback, with rookie skill position like players. Next, month of Michigan. On December 30th, something happened. The Lions lost to the Dallas Cowboys in excruciating fashion. Mm -hmm. Felt same old Lions, going to be screwed out of the two seed, not going to be able to do it. Later that evening... The Detroit Pistons snapped a 27-game losing streak. Since then, what's happened? Well, the University of Michigan has won a semifinal and a championship game in the college football playoff. The Detroit Lions have won their first playoff game in 30 years, and all of a sudden, the Cowboys are out, and they have another home game at Ford Field. Could January be the month of the Michigan sports fan? We shall see. Franchise fork in the road. This is for the Buffalo Bills. It's very clear what this is. Are you going to become the first team in nearly 30 years in the NFL to lose three times in four years to the same team in the postseason? Are you clearly going to have a team you simply, no matter what you do in the regular season, can't get past? Or is this the year you slay the dragon? Is this the year you beat the team that you have said self-professed been obsessed with? And is this the year you have a chance to actually hang a real banner as opposed to fake ones in the practice facility and ones mocking you on this show? My guess is it's the latter. We'll see if it's the former. Next, everything you could ask for, the Niners. They got the seven seed coming to town, not one of the teams we expected. Dallas and Philly, we all looked at the NFC throughout the year. Three-team race. Well, two of them got beaten round one. You have the healthy, one of the healthiest teams in the league. You have a well-rounded roster. And you have a quarterback who some smart people were arguing multiple times throughout the year might be the MVP of the league and should get more credit to go along with the running back everyone agrees is the best running back in football. Smart head coach. What Everything you could ask for. Next, be honest, they're a little nervous. Facts. The Ravens. There's the rust. There's the fact that you watched what C.J. Stroud did in the previous round with not a care in the world against an AFC North. Great defense who you struggled with. So there's the ghosts of playoffs past. You have the profile of an all-time team. The point differential, the regular season success, the defense, your own, your losses actually you controlled throughout when Lamar played and then just fell apart at the end, but you're a little nervous. Be honest. 
you're a little nervous. That's everyone who has been dancing it. on the Chiefs' grave all year. <laughs> yeah. That is people on this set. That is most notably Chris Broussard and Eric Mangini, who have treated the Kansas City Chiefs, who are one of the eight teams remaining, like an NAIA team this year, and talked about a 19-point playoff win not being that impressive and how all we need is one receiver to step up, and then when that receiver steps up, we pretend that didn't exist. All we need is to not turn the ball over, and then when they play a perfectly clean postseason game, we say, ah, who couldn't have done that in negative 30 degrees? Be honest, you're a little nervous for fading what is clearly the best team of the generation. That is the divisional round tiers. Coach, go ahead. Be honest, you're a little nervous. I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> you're a little nervous. This is the match. Yeah, you like, got a tattoo that said never, never doubt. doubt. Be honest that you predicted they were 18-0. Hey, be on, I, I didn't mean, predict they're low blows. Be, on, be honest that every single week you try to convince yourself how good this team yes. is. And somehow they find Keep their way winning. to the top. There might have been some drinking in, in Hell's Kitchen when you were putting some of these names together. <laughs> I love the year four out of a five-year plan. You know the previous two head coaches were fired up. One, one year, year, yeah. So I guess there's no five-year plans there. But I'm just going to bump up uh, Green Bay a little bit above where the Texans are. I, I think that's that's mm. probably the, the most obvious wow. of them. And when you look at Green Bay and, and the wins they had, and I know we're not giving style points for wins, but re the reality is Cleveland turned back into a pumpkin, and Joe Flacco was a nice story, but it couldn't last. And, and Green Bay's win was, was more impressive, and they've been more impressive over the latter half of the mm. season. So let's take a look. This is the last nine games of the season. Okay, including the playoffs, they're seven and two. Look at these rankings, offensive rankings down uh, top to bottom. So they're top 10 in everything. They're first in, in total points per game and, and right on down the line. So that, that's, that's where they've been over the last half of the season. Let's take a look at Jordan Love against the bigs. Okay, the bigs that he's played in this second half of the season. Win over Dallas, three touchdowns, zero picks, 157 quarterback rating. Win over Kansas City. Three touchdowns, zero pick, 118 quarterback Good. rating. Win over Detroit, three touchdowns, no picks, 125 quarterback rating. Wow. Really improved second half of the season with the youngest team in the league. He's been very impressive against really good teams. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the wins that they had, Houston versus Green Bay, I don't think it's, so don't think listen, it's comparable. I think you make a very compelling case. I, and I'm not, <coughs> again, there's only eight teams left. They're all good teams. They're none of these teams I feel are being disrespected. Green Bay has been excellent for now two plus months. I would argue in defense of Houston, they were excellent all year after the first month of the season when CJ played. When they struggled was after CJ got his concussion yeah. and we saw them without him. And so, but he, that is to me very close. That was, I mean, you weren't in the committee meeting as you, you know, to obviously decline. judging by Kansas City the, the, being on top. Oh, well, listen, <laughs> the defending champs, it's the playoff, it's the playoff tears. Give me a break. But you weren't here last week either. You would have known that that's where they were last week. Uh, the, but th that was very close. Houston, Green Bay was very, very close. We went to Houston. You make compelling case. Go ahead. Well, look, just like there's no reason Kansas City should be favored in Buffalo this weekend, there's no reason they should be number one on this list. They should be fourth. It should be Baltimore, San Francisco, Buffalo, Kansas City right below them. They don't have the best defense in the league. They don't even have a top 10 scoring offense. They don't have home field advantage. They were 0-4 against playoff teams not named the Miami Dolphins. Well, that, like, why, why are they, there's no reason other than past history to believe that they're go, the best team in the playoffs. So, it, it should be Baltimore. Baltimore, obviously, they have the MVP on offense. They've got a, a Super Bowl winning coach. They got a defense, the first defense, I think, in history to lead the league in scoring defense, sacks, and takeaways. Like, oh, my, Baltimore should definitely – and they crushed, uh, like, half of these teams. I mean, they, they crushed the good teams that they played. Great job, Bruce. So, Kansas City didn't even beat any the, other the, than the, the break dancers. So, um, I'm so the, my earpiece had gone out, and I was I, – so you were cutting out even though you're right here. I was here – were you def explaining why the 2002 Kings should be ranked ahead of the 2002 Lakers? I'm not sure, because that's kind of what it sounded like. Like, don't worry about history. What did they do this year? What have we seen this season? The history come the postseason has a lot to do with who you believe in in the postseason. 
season. I One think of the, the previous the, 18 weeks. The, but again, but again, we're, we're kind of picking and choosing the previous 18 weeks up. And if we are going to talk about the best defense, they do have. They had the number two defense in the NFL this is year. That number best? one was Cleveland. Number two is Cleveland's gone. Number two. No, Cleveland that's is yards. Gone. I'm talking yeah. about scoring defense. Okay, well, so, well that's odd. Because and sacks and, and takeaways. So you're, well, just real quick, if I may, you're talking about scoring defense but yardage offense? I'm not sure. Because when you talked about the Chiefs not having a top 10 offense, you were talking. Yeah. I, I'm, you were no, talking. Chiefs are not in the top 10 as far as points either. Scoring. The, and they're the number so two. So I'm talking scoring about scoring. I'm about scoring. Okay. Not about Got yards. It. I'm okay. about scoring. Got it. Go ahead. That's how you win. Yeah. You win with most yards. No. In fantasy, you do. No. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, not a lot of people are talking about this. What? I invented two phrases. The first one I invented was defense wins championships. Okay. It's called that's, that's a good one. We need that? Yeah. That's a good one. I didn't hear wow. it before I said it. Yeah. Impressive. The other one, put this in your head. Rest versus rust. Okay. God. <laughs> I haven't heard that. That's good. <laughs> Let me give an example of it. 2019. Ravens rested everybody. Turns out they were rusty. Yeah. They played the Titans and they ended up lost, losing. Tennessee got out to an early lead. Now, everybody on the Ravens is saying they remember it. Patrick Queen, I know the stories about 19. Lamar, 2019's over with. We're always talking about it. Harbaugh, we remember 2019. It's not something we're going to forget. Great. They should be locked in. I want them to come out and score right away and put the brakes on the Texans, who are very good in the first quarter in their last three games. They're scoring a touchdown. Their yards up. They got 112 yards in the first quarter in their last three games. And CJ's up here at 128. Now, here's because they're not rusted. They're not what? Rusted. Rusted? rusted? Okay, got it. Go or on. rusted. No, I got they're it. They're just playing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Moment. Rusty is what most would say, but rusted Or rusted. Works. Yeah, that works. Go ahead. <laughs> tomato, tomato. Yeah. There now, you. Lamar says he's not going to be rusty at all. But when they met the last time, it was the first game of the season, and Lamar hadn't played all summer, even though he was practicing. And the tweet he put out was rusty as something, but thank you, God. So I'm just saying, as much as we want to talk about Russ not being on the board, the last time Lamar said he was rusty, so you know what I realized while you were going through that, Wilds? And that was well done. That was much better than Brew's feeble Ravens. Were well, you guys defense. arguing about stats uh, that we can't the, see? The, I don't know. The, the, here is, here's what I realized. Brew, for the second straight week, you're going to go no upsets. No, I've been thinking about that. Yeah, because I, you, you're you going to go no again? upsets. There will He's not gonna go, be any upsets Well, I mean, week. just for the record, that, right? you said that chest. last week and you were wrong <laughs> all across the board. We will put a must board. win in there. Yeah, oh, the, the upset so, alert. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get more from the show and to check out clips from other shows on FS1.